Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I really want to share with you, there's more than 10 here, but 10 groups of items of things that you can swap out for plant-based items if, if this is something that you're interested in or if you're wanting to make a switch to being vegan. Adam and I aren't vegan, but we do eat for the most part plant-based. So I'm desperate to share some things with you today because food's one of my favorite topics. So let's get into it. Just before we do though, please do hit that subscribe button if you aren't part of the family already. It would mean a lot to me. And if this is helpful today, please give it a thumbs up so that I know this is something that you enjoy. I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff that we've got first, the kind of meat substitutes, purely because I've pulled this out of my freezer, so I need to go and put it back. Um, I'm first off gonna talk about the burgers that we have here because, oh my goodness, are they nice. These are the first ones that we found, the Linda McCartney ones. On the front, they say vegetarian, but they are actually vegan. So don't be fooled if you see these in the store because if you check on the back, yeah, there's absolutely nothing in it. So yeah, these are vegan burgers and these, I don't know why, I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but these remind me of burgers that I used to have in school. And my burgers in school are really nice. At one point I was eating them every day. <laughs> um, yeah, but they're actually really, really nice. And the sausages as well. Oh, Linda McCartney does some amazing food. Go and check out the frozen section. Then these we had because we switched to Asda and either they didn't sell these or these were out of stock. So we've got green cuisine and these are vegan burgers as well. These are absolutely delicious. They taste different to these, but they're just absolutely scrummy. Then looking at different things that you can put into like salads or whatever. <laughs> um, we've got a Cardo vegan chicken style pieces. Now I know that Adam really really likes these and he particularly um, has these for within, <laughs> what does he have them in? He has them in all the time but this is what they look like basically and he chops them up so that they're smaller as well once they're cooked. But these are made with soya. These are really nice. I personally don't tend to go for anything like that in my normal meals. I prefer the taste of these ones. These are from Fry's, and I believe these are chia. Are these made of chia? I think they are. They're meat, egg, and dairy-free, and these are kind of like chicken nuggets. They're so lovely. Asda actually do really, really nice um, chicken nuggets as well. I'm a little bit of a child when it comes to chicken nuggets. <laughs> Then something else that's a meat replacement that Adam really likes as well. I'm quite fussy, can you tell? Um, he really likes this one, which is the corn mince. Um, for some reason, I'm not a massive fan of some of the other corn items, but he does like the mince. And I feel like there might be more meat replacements, but I can't think of them off the top of my head, apart from this one. Now, I know I've spoken to you about this before, but <laughs> this, my friends is delicious. Um, so much so <laughs> that they only sell it in, I believe there are two stores that they sell it in, and we haven't been able to get our hands on it for ages and ages, so we ended up getting like four packs at once and freezing three of them because we had run out and we didn't have any for weeks. We eat this a lot. This is This Isn't Bacon, and this is made of soya, and this is so delicious. And I think they've got something, is it called liquid smoke on them or something? Um, but oh my gosh, it, it literally, it smells like bacon. It's something that we both, we just, we love these. Adam actually told me that I should mention to you that courgettes, if you slice them and you cook them on a pan, they have like a meaty texture, like a meaty taste. So if you have a courgette in your house right now, try that because it's very yummy. Pizza. Oh my goodness. Sainsbury's. Is it Goodfellas? Goodfellas do a pizza that is really, really nice and it has um, falafel on it. And because that was the only one that I could find that I like, because I'm picky with the type of cheese that's on the vegan pizzas, I don't like the coconut taste personally. If you do, there are loads of vegan pizzas for you to try. I don't, however. So that was the one that I was stuck with. However, I now have a second choice and we ate this last night. So this is from my internal packaging, what's it called? Recycling. Um, and this 
is very, very delicious. It's roasted veg with hummus and it's a thin pizza. I like thin pizzas. I used to like really thick ones. For some reason, I like thin pizzas now. But that is very, very nice, may I say. And for a long, long time, I was like, oh, I can't give up. I can't give up the garlic bread. But we have found these. These are from Asda. These are garlic and parsley ciabatta breadsticks. And they've got basically no milk in them, no egg. And they do have wheat though, so that's, I need to be a little bit careful with the wheat with me. But I now don't have to go and buy a big cheesy garlic bread anymore. Let's go on to cheese because I know that is a big one for a lot of people. Now, I wasn't a massive cheese fan before we went plant-based. Um, I know a lot of people love Via Life as well. So because I'm not that much of a massive fan, for me, it's not a big thing. However, like I said, I don't really like the the coconutty ones. I don't think I've got it. Oh no, it's in the fridge, wait there. This is made of coconut, but it doesn't taste like it. This is a cream cheese, okay? So when we have fajitas, I absolutely love because I have to have mild fajitas because of my throat. Um, <laughs> I basically have to smother, I love it though, I smother my fajitas with cream cheese. And this one, is gluten-free, milk-free, egg-free, and is a coconut-based alternative to soft cheese. This is from Sainsbury's. We did try one from Asda, which tasted more coconutty. Um, but yeah, absolutely love that one. But we haven't found a hard cheese yet that we are like, oh, that's nice. So I will get back to you on that one. But um, don't let that be the reason that you don't try plant-based. You could try everything apart from giving up cheese and just, you know, take it one step at a time. That's what we did. Because, because there's only one of these, let's talk about this now. Uh, when we have things like fruit, we like to have yogurt on top of it and this is the one that we love it's Alpro Plain this is just really nice it just tastes like normal yogurt <laughs> I can't believe I didn't tell you about this when we were talking about cheese just now where did my brain go so this is B12 basically <laughs> it's nutritional yeast is what they call it um, but yes yeah, Engevita is what it's called and we have three tubs of this and Oh, do you know what? It's like a powder, so it's like this, if you can see that, but it's just so nice. Mm. I have this on sprinkled on top of beans, and then even though it looks dry, it's, it's not basically, so that it kind of like melts in your mouth. Oh my God, it's melting. Oh my God, it's so nice. This really, really is so cheesy and nice. And um, so if you ever sort of like, chips my mouth is watering chips cheese and beans i sprinkle this on top of my beans and then turn over my beans and that was indy in the background if you just heard him be sick he's not actually being sick he does that with his throat my next item for you from a girl who absolutely loved what i called real butter um this just love this this is great it melts really well um, into your toast which is what I love is just really sort of buttery toast the time is it food time yet <laughs> um, this is just I love flora didn't ever think that I would be able to be converted from quite a few things actually and yeah I love it before we go on to um, chocolate and things. I'm going to show you the milks. So these are the three milks that we have in our house and there are lots of milks out there that you can try. There are coconut milks, rice milks, tiger milk is it called? I'm not quite sure. Um, almond milks but these are the three that we find we liked and the important thing is is if you haven't tried a plant-based milk before 
don't give up after you taste when you think oh that's disgusting I'll never be able to have this milk in my tea or this milk in my cereals or whatever because I found that actually I like different milks for different things so this is the one soya is the one that we decided we liked most in our cereals it's quite a light taste and I actually so much prefer this now to semi-skimmed cow's milk and I never ever ever thought that I would say that now if I taste something like if I have a coffee if I'm out and they didn't have any milks actually I say no to that now but when I have done in the past I'd be like oh right okay I'll just have the cow's milk and they'll give it to me and honestly that you go like in the back of your throat is I don't know why but yeah so that's the one I tend to have with that then for coffees oh, this we only to be fair recently discovered this but this is Oatly Barista you need to get your hands on this if you are using this and your coffee is sort of not curdling, curdling is the wrong word, separating. So my coffee, the milk was kind of separating when I was using this one in my coffee. Although if you do it right, I don't think it does. Um, but yeah, so this is just glorious, glorious stuff. And um, side note, Adam was like, have you seen the side of the carton? I was like, no, it says uh, post milk generation membership card. <laughs> So then we had a little conversation. Do you think people cut them out and then they take them and then they sort of like flash them to each other and I don't know where we were going with that, but there we go. Um, yeah, get your hands on that one. This then, I, t I tend to mostly just use with my oats, if I'm honest. I think Adam, this is sweeter. So I think he will use this with his cereals as well if he wants that sweeter taste. Um, he used to use this in his coffee now, but he's sort of transitioned over to that one. So there might be a time when we don't buy this one anymore and we might buy the barista, but then I don't know how the barista would be in when we're making oats. I don't know, but to be fair, they don't take up a, a lot of room in the fridge they're just three little cartons and we love them i cannot imagine going back to cow's milk now we are now on to this become a little bit obsessed with this and that's a little bit naughty i know but um this is vegan easy egg i'm pretty sure the packaging has changed um and the brand is all gram or ground, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Um, yes, but this is an egg replacement basically. So you make this instead of like scrambled eggs, omelette, frittata and quiche. Can you use this in bacon? I don't think you can. I don't know. I don't know if you can use this in bacon or not. If you know that and you've, or you've tried it, let me know if it works. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is lovely, lovely egg and I tend to crave it most days if I'm honest. We're now on to chocolate. These are my faves. Uh, Nomo is hmm, pretty amazing, hence the empty wrapper. This one then, Galaxy Vegan Smooth Orange. They do lots of different flavors, but this one tastes like Terry's Chocolate Orange. Actually probably nicer than Terry's, not as sickly. This is just really, might have a squirt now. <laughs> um, yeah, we've gone t through too much chocolate. I also like the Marks and Spencers one, and Sunday recommended to me the other day. I'm going to put it on the screen because it was my friend, and she recommended me one. I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember where it is, but I definitely need to have a look because she told me it was in Sainsbury's. Then ice cream, Ben and Jerry's and Oatly both do amazing ice creams. Chocolate fudge brownie, oh, so nice. Not a massive ice cream fan, however, I'm partial to a little bit of Ben & Jerry's fudge brownie, but I know Oatly do some as well, I just haven't tried them yet. And the very last item that I don't know if we've run out of, but it is agave syrup. And we use this instead of using honey now. So instead of buying honey, we used to have um, 
like fruits and things and pancakes and then we would drizzle the honey across the top while agave syrup tastes exactly the same like exactly the same so if that's something you haven't tried yet just pick that one up next time and see what you think of that one i hope that's given you a few different ideas today because it's taken me a long time to get here i will be honest with you when i wanted to switch start switching out things i honestly didn't think i'd ever give up dairy chocolate I didn't think I'd give, give up cheese on my pizzas and look where I am now. Advice for you if you're just starting out finding different plant thing, plant based foods you like is just do one thing at a time. So just find the milk that you like for your tea or just find a chocolate that you like and you don't have to do things overnight. It's If you've watched my previous videos you'll know it's taken me years to get to this point and yeah we're still learning every day. So. We are excited <laughs> to try lots of different new foods. But as I said, I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't over there as well because I'm posting lots of little pictures and IGTVs. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>